Governor Ipata has raised the concern that the dual citizenship law should be flexible for the dual citizenship holders to come back to the country. Uh, dual citizenship, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, we have uh, actually discriminated against these Papua New Guineans, even though they are maybe, maybe citizens of other countries, Mr. Deputy Speaker, they still have land here. They have relatives here. They are Papua New Guineans. I want to ask you if you can look into uh, the dual citizenship, look at the laws and see how we can get these Papua New Guineans to come back and invest here in this country. In response, Minister Responsible for Immigration John Rosso says the team from immigration is working on it. Rosso admits receiving a lot of complaints from professionals, so they have started working on the changes. That his concerns have been raised by a lot of other people also. And I'd like to quite pleasantly advise him that immigration has already started work on this amendment to legislation. This uh, work has been done, working in cohesion with our first legislative council to ensure that we open up and make it easier, accessible, more flexible for Papua New Guinean citizens who are professionals working, studying in Australia. He assured to the dual citizenship holders that by the end of this year, he should bring it to the floor of parliament and amendments should be made. An old classmate of mine from a very, very uh, qualified IT expert him and his children cried and asked, why are we not allowed back into our country? We came here to work and stuff, and we are not allowed back because we had to forego our citizenship. I assured him that I would be working on it before the end of the year. The current prescribed countries for dual citizenships are Australia, Fiji, Germany, New Zealand, Samoa, United Kingdom, United States of America and Vanuatu. Samantha Solomon, National MTV News.